have a really good wine cellar that we built out here. It's going to be very interesting to see because it was something that we had to tear down and build back up from another wine cellar company. So it's going to be really interesting to show you kind of what we did to make this a real wine cellar that doesn't have any issues. So let's go in and check it out. So today what we're doing is really something interesting. As you see, it's absolutely gorgeous wine cellar. It only have, fits about 100 bottles, but it's about aesthetics and it's about really the show the show of this whole thing what interesting about this project was we were called because the room was built wrong this happens a lot as i probably mentioned many times over just about 30 percent of my business is coming in to help people that have told them that they can build a wine room and it was wrong from the vapor bear insulation building of the glass they had shower door glass on here which we'll get into about a little bit later and the stone was was glued on wrong, which turned turned it a different color. The lighting wasn't right. Where can I start? So this is a cable system. At Wine Cell Designers Group, we have our own cable systems that we offer to our customers. And this again holds a hundred bottles. Across here, we have some magnums up on top, 750s both on the two sides for like the showcase of the cellar. The next thing that we did here also is install the Whisper Cool ducted split system unit and it's actually in the uh, right above the bathroom and we put a, a panel to access the cooling unit and as you can see you can't hear that unit at all. It's completely quiet. So let's get into the building of this. So when we were contracted we were, came in to say what's wrong with our cellar? Pretty much what it was, there was condensation on the glass. The glass was shower door hinges. This is a big thing. You do not want to use shower door glass on any wine cell at all. You don't have the insulation of the glass. You have hinges that actually have air gaps that cause a significant condensation and air gaps that will really, all your cool air is going out the door and there's water pretty much coming out the sides of everything. It didn't even have a seal and when we opened the door, it was stuck. Now you can freely kind of open the door is kind of what we need. And that's door stop so we don't hit the racking itself. We actually also do is put a little bit of a wood, or I'm sorry, a metal beam or a bar. And why we did that was to be able to create that seal up on top and be able to have the doors have a better seal to them from the top to the bottom, as you can see there. Another biggest thing was that the room was built wrong. There was no insulation. Tons of big issues because they didn't have an insulation vapor barrier. But let's talk about the stone. This is an alabaster stone, gorgeous stone that we have here. But what they did is they, they put the stone on with the wrong glue. When you did it with the wrong glue, what it is, it turned orange. And so again, had some issues with the lighting and such, which we then changed the entire lighting structure inside of the cellar. Needless to say, we came in, knew that it was wrong from the minute we saw it from the cooling unit, from the doors, from the racks, just the way everything was installed. Um, and we came in and had to rip everything down back to the studs, which you'll see in the pictures, and to build the room back up. We also included this amazing stairs that we get up to the top here that we needed to as well to be able to utilize this ladder to go across. 